A very festive hello to you today. It's me, Lucy, and today I'm going to be doing a Princess Polly haul, but not just any haul, okay? You know, I like to give you the good good when it comes to curations, but this time, the holiday spirit simply entered my body and took over <laughs> on the Princess Polly website. And all the things I picked out today are kind of in that sort of holiday theme. I've sort of like picked outfits for particular holiday moments. Kind of. Obviously, they can be versatile because I like a bit of versatility in my closet, okay? We're not here to buy an outfit for simply one reason, okay? But I thought it could be cute and fun and festive to just sort of frame it with that theming. So, so essentially, for all intents and purposes, this is a Princess Polly haul that you know and love. I've really enjoyed working with Princess Polly this year, but this year we're just adding a little, little festive flavor. And I thought I would share with you kind of where I envision wearing these outfits kind of through December slash early January. You know what I mean? Okay. Of course, if you have been on my channel before, you know that I've been working with Princess Polly kind of over the past few months to bring you these sort of curated hauls where I can kind of show you my picks from the Princess Polly website. So this is what this is again. So thank you to Princess Polly for working and collaborating with me on this video. So if you see anything in this video that you would like to see under the Christmas tree that you would like to be gifted, you can let Santa know. You can write him a letter to the North Pole and let him know that he can use the code LucyLivin for 20% off. Or anyone else who wants to give you things, or yourself Santa. I am myself Santa a lot. <laughs> and also, of course, if you're an Australian BB, you know that you can get express shipping with all orders over $50 Australian. And if, and if you're an international BB, they also have some express shipping options as well. So go to the website and check out what applies to you and your area. I'm honestly so pumped for the holidays. I have been uh, really working from home a lot still, um, just trying to get everything done. But I'm really excited because I actually have some stuff on my social calendar for December, which is really exciting. I'm gonna be getting to go see my friends in a different city, which is really, really exciting. I've just booked my flights and uh, it's good. Because I'll be honest with you, before everything, I was at university, which was a few years ago now. And then I went into working in corporate, so, you know, not really buying a lot of casual fun kind of clothes when you're in corporate full time in an office. You kind of have to buy some pretty things that aren't really my favorite. <laughs> and then uh, transition to then working from home for almost two years, really, at this point, which is kind of insane to think about the passage of time. Let's not. So really now it's get, we're getting all cute and immunized and staying safe. Now is kind of the time where I'm actually, you know, able to book things into my social calendar and everyone's feeling a little more cool to go out. So it's kind of the first time I've been actually experimenting with casual going out stuff. Um, and I've also transitioned recently from working in a full time, like super high tech corporate environment into doing some other work. So I don't actually need to <laughs> buy those clothes anymore. Thank you, Lord. I hated shopping for that. <laughs> so yeah, it's a very uh, fun time in my style timeline. Anyway. I feel like we should just hop into it. And I'm going to start with what I'm wearing right now. It's very exciting. So this is actually from the very first Disney X Princess Polly collaboration, which iconic duo, besties, we love to see it. And I was actually really lucky to be working on the launch campaign. So I actually had a little sneaky heads up. And you may be familiar with this shirt if you follow me on Instagram because this is the t-shirt that I wore in my little campaign post to announce the launch which was so exciting and so fun to be part of. Um, so this one is actually in a large to extra large. I really wanted like an oversized baggy fit and I've really been surprised with how much I've actually been wearing this kind of style. I wasn't sure if the oversized t-shirt bike pants thing was really going to work for me but I'm gonna go ahead and say that it does because I really enjoy it. It's been really comfy. I've been wearing this to run a lot of errands and things like that. Just where I don't really need to be like too much of a human. Like in the rat to human scale, I just need to be like mostly human, like 50% of the way there, but I don't have to be full human woman. I can sort of be like rat slash woman. I feel like back pants look so weird when you just show them like that, but it is what it is. <laughs> this is just a pair of lilac black pants from Motel. I'll show them here as well. But they are just really comfy, just a nice soft cotton blend. They're nothing super active wear spandexy. They're more of just like a cotton short. But you know, the coordination of the little bits of lilac on the Bambi top with the bike pants, I've just really enjoyed it. I don't know. I think it's a cute outfit. So this one isn't specifically a like festive themed outfit technically, but you know, 
decorating the tree or more accurately like hauling the tree up from wherever you've stored it like you know got like some like dust and then like maybe a cockroach escapes it's not very glamorous is it but you know what i mean it's like comfy it's a anytime anywhere type of outfit and uh i really enjoy it and you know i don't really wear dark colors a lot but there's something about the kind of like disney with the pastel black pants just the incognito laid back but still cutie bb kind of vibes that I've just been not really diving with. So that is the first look I wanted to share with you. And oh, oh my gosh, what, what's that? Oh my gosh, is it a pair of shoes? Is Lucy doing foot content? No, she's just showing shoes. <laughs> Don't get excited. I'll insert a picture of them here, but I'll also insert a clip of me wearing them so you can see kind of what they look like on. But these are from Windsor Smith and they're just a little pair of canvas platform sneakers. They're very simple. Um, I've been um, in love with the chunky sneakers for probably a good two plus years now. Been really enjoying my chunky boys. However, <laughs> they are dying. But my actual individual pair of chunky sneakers is nearing the end of its lifespan because I've worn them so much. So I was looking for a new pair of white sneakers and I have been on the hunt for a couple months now. And these actually popped up on the Princess Polly website. They are from a brand called Windsor Smith. Um, but they stock them on Princess Polly. And I just thought that they were really kind of minimal but also had a little bit of like 90s sort of fun with the platform. Yeah. But I feel like sometimes when you wear those really chunky style sneakers, they just, for me anyway, and how feminine I like my style, I really like wearing them with jeans and stuff like that to balance out the proportions of the outfit because I prefer like a straighter or like a wider leg jean. I just like how proportionally they look. But when it comes to wearing sort of like little day dresses or like floral mini dresses, I just wanted something a little bit daintier if that makes sense, but still kind of having some fun proportional element to sort of like balance out the look. So the platform on this really works in my favor. So I just wanna say as well, I have wanted to wear these with outfits I have worn in the last couple weeks so many times, but because I've just been waiting to film this video, I haven't worn them. But it was good because I got to spray some fabric protector on them, so I'm gonna keep them nice and clean and white. And I like canvas as well, cause it's a little bit easier to clean than leather, I find anyway. So yeah, those are my new sneakers <laughs> homeboy is gonna like get it but yeah i'm so excited because i feel like i'm gonna show you these outfits and you'll see what i mean that these sneakers would look good just keep, keep them in your brain keep them back in your mind because i think that these shoes would look good with most of the outfits i'm gonna show you pretty confident so yeah i just want to share these with you because i think they are super cute so next up i wanted to share with you this adorable Set. <laughs> this is the Adora set in a sage white swirl. I actually have this, if you've watched another one of my Princess Polly videos, I actually do have this in a kind of lighter sort of green with a floral kind of pattern on it. And I have worn it honestly so much. It's definitely a staple in my kind of work from home vibe. And actually Max, my boyfriend, was saying to me that he thought it really suited me and I looked really good at it. So much so to the point where he was asking me if there were more colours of this, which isn't something he does all the time. So I kind of took that as a probably suggestion that I did look kind of cute in it. So this one is newer. They had it in the black with the white floral, which was really cute as well and I was tempted by it. But this sort of swirly pattern I thought was really fun and I'm really really enjoying the sage kind of green at the moment. I do think it is a nice color for your gal. Now I got this one in the medium to large size and by the way I'll put all of these size and descriptions of all the items and the links and stuff in the description box below so I got you. But this is in the medium to large size. I do think I could wear the small to medium but I just prefer having it be a little bit looser and a little bit more relaxed. It's still very stretchy if you can see what I mean like it's Wow, wow. <laughs> so if you're sort of unsure, I wouldn't be too concerned. I feel like you can size up or down and either would be comfortable. But because of the boot, I prefer to have <laughs> a little bit of extra material to play with. And in terms of my kind of concept of what I'm envisioning, I'm envisioning Christmas tree decorating with this. Because then you can camouflage into the tree. <laughs> Just holiday cozy times. This is actually kind of a really unique blend because I have worn this from winter into summer and it's never really gotten too hot because it is that more short sleeved sort of style but it also is a flared leg as well. It's not so claustrophobically cozy that you can't wear it into other seasons, do you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, obviously in the height of summer if we don't have the air con on it's not going to be my go to. In those evenings when we're maybe like watching a little holiday movie and I've put the lights on and a candle and I've made something yummy for dinner we're eating it on the couch. like. That's where I envision wearing this. Ooh. I'm obsessed with this set. It's my second one and I just think they are 
the beans, knees. knees. And I'm just feeling like a holiday lady of leisure. And that's all I want. I just want to stop girl bossing. <laughs> What's that meme <laughs> where it's like, I don't want to girl boss anymore. I want to girl lie down, girl sleep, <laughs> girl rest. <laughs> so this is another one where I didn't have a specific holiday concept, but maybe you, you know, if you're playing along at home, if you want to comment down below what holiday concept this could be styled for. I'm feeling like holiday Christmas markets kind of vibe, do you know what I mean? Something casual on a Sunday afternoon, where you want to be comfy, but you also might want to have an Aperol spritz kind of vibe. Maybe buy some earrings. Maybe that's just how I'm feeling now. <laughs> but this is another one of the Disney pieces. This is the Bambi crop top. I got this one in a size 10. And I would say it's a nice sort of like slightly oversized fit. Right. Um, I got this one in a size 10 and I would say it's on me. It's sort of like a nice kind of relaxed fit. But then in saying that, I'm probably more of a size eight up top, like traditionally across brands, but I do have some chesticles. <laughs> so for me, a size 10 from Princess Polly tends to be a good fit, but I would say maybe it runs a little bit small if you tend to be more on a typical size 10 and then again, depending on the chesticles. As it is with most brands, but yeah, just a heads up. But this is the Bambi crop top and this is the Ada maxi skirt. I was gonna say midi skirt, but it's actually a maxi skirt. <laughs> Where have all the maxi skirts gone? I feel like it's the return of the maxi. Do you know what I mean? Remember when maxi dresses and things were so big and they kind of all went away and then it was midi? And now I feel like we're having midi maxi equality. I feel like I'm seeing them in equal parts around. Anyway, <laughs> the really precious pastel leopard print in this like satiny material is really pretty and I don't know. Again, I was like, it's funny because Bambi's an animal, but Bambi's not a leopard. So I styled this one for one of the Instagram shots as well. I thought, I thought it was cute and like a little bit funny to me. Maybe my broken sense of humor. <laughs> too many hours on TikTok and like on like staring at like absurdist memes. Anyway, I don't know. I kind of thought it was cute. The only other thing I'll say about this skirt is if you've had a big lunch or if you're having a little bit of a bloaty kind of time, I'm having a little bit of a bloaty time today. It's just bloat season. I don't know what it was. I'm just a bloaty legend today. Anyway. If you have a little bit of floating, it's not quite, the shininess of the fabric can kind of highlight that a little bit. So just keep that in mind. You know, I probably wouldn't pick this one for Christmas not. lunch, but kind of aside from gluttonous occasions, I do feel like it's really pretty color. And if you're into sort of the pastels, but also something that's a little bit more conservative, but I think depending on your workplace, like I think this skirt is something that would be totally fine to wear to work because it's quite opaque as well. I don't really think it's particularly see-through or anything like that. So yeah. I, know. I like it. That is this outfit. Okay. I'm really excited about this one. So for those of you who follow me for a little while, you probably know I have been on the hunt for kind of a nice cropped white cardigan just as a wardrobe staple. And I think, I think I might have actually found it because this is just, it's just so simple. It's just the little details and it's just, mm. so this anyway. is the outfit that I kind of put together for holiday shopping. Maybe last minute holiday shopping, but just holiday shopping. You know, you're out with your friends or maybe your family and you're just feeling kind of cute. You're feeling kind of preppy, Christmassy vibes. You're wandering through the wonders of the giant air conditioned capitalist center and you think, yeah, this is living Barry. So this is the Karina cardigan in white and the Quincy mini dress in blue. And I'm about to just show you. Well, I'll, I'll show you the cardigan. So it, they've got one little button there, which I like. There's just one button. So you can kind of have it together if you want, or you can just kind of have it there. So, you know, sometimes when you're going to the shopping center to the mall, <laughs> it's really unnatural for me to say that, but uh, <laughs> sometimes they get cold. Okay. They really pump the air conditioning, which I again love. I feel like I've talked a lot about how much I like air conditioning this year. I swear I'm actually not that bad about it. I don't put it on unless I need to, but there's just, there's just something about the perfect 24 degrees Celsius air conditioning. That's just elite. I also don't do very well with the heat. So that's probably something. I also grew up in Hong Kong and air conditioning was sort of an essential there. The feeling of relief when you are in a hot, stinky, humid climate, and then you walk into an air conditioned shopping center, and especially in Hong Kong around the holiday time with all the beautiful lights and decorations, there's a nostalgia slash pleasure factor there. Anyway, I'll stop talking about air conditioners. This is the Karina cardigan in white. As you can see, one button, no button, vibes. And I just feel like this will go with so many things. 
And because it is just a very neutral plain cardigan, it's going to work with so many of the things I have. And honestly, a lot of the time it's just, I'm going to the movies and I just want a cardigan that I can bring with me that's not going to look silly on top of whatever I'm wearing, but it's also going to be a functional cardigan. So, so for those kind of really simple dresses, I have my wardrobe, like this is exactly the kind of thing that I just often am looking for my wardrobe, but I just don't have one that looks quite right or sits quite right. So this one sits really nicely. I feel like just above the waist. So it's a really nice cropped silhouette on me. And considering a lot of the time I do go for a cropped silhouette up here, I feel like that's gonna work really well. But also laid on top of dresses, it still kind of keeps the shape. Because if I get a really oversized one that goes to around here, it kind of gets rid of all of the shape from my outfit. That's the Korean cop cardigan. And let me just... Uh. <laughs> so this is a very different dress silhouette for me. I don't really have anything like it at the moment, but this is the Quincy dress in baby blue. I've seen a couple of these dresses around this sort of vintage silhouette and I wasn't sure if it would really look good on me or suit me, but I figured I'd give it a go. And I thought that, you know, these two would be styled quite cute together because the white floral pattern on this matching with the white cardigan, you know? And then I was sort of like, oh, if I don't really like how it looks sleeveless, I've always got the cardigan, but I actually really like how it looks on its own as well. It's not super tight, it's not super fitted, so it's actually quite comfy to wear, you know, which is good for when you're reaching for things in the store. Do you like, I keep trying to bring it back to my very loose abstract theme. <laughs> but because it's not so kind of tight and bodycon, I feel like you can really comfortably wear this kind of walking around, you can sit down for lunch or a little snacky. I actually wore this on the weekend. I wore it to a friend's party and then over to a friend's place for drinks. So kind of like two different events. One was a little bit more dressed up, one was a little bit more casual, but this outfit worked for both of them. I think it's quite versatile. So you can take it from being really casual. I can wear it with that pair of sneakers that I showed you before and wear it out shopping with the cardigan and just a little tote bag or something like that. Or you can dress it up with some strappy heels and a bit more of an evening bag, some jewelry kind of thing to make it more of a fancy pants look. Oh my gosh, the air conditioning is so cold. I better put on my cardigan and then go buy candles as gifts of people and maybe get a holiday latte from a giant corporation. That's what I imagine you'll be thinking if you get my vibe, catch my festive drift. But yeah, let me know what you think about this outfit. I think it's a holly jolly festive time. So this is the first dress that I kind of picked that I thought was cute for the holiday season. This is the <laughs> Don't Be Salty mini dress. Yeah. I just thought this was a sort of unique dress that also is kind of special and festive and it's just a bit of a moment, but also I feel like you can wear it outside of the holiday season. You but just, you know, just something that you can kind of wear to other parties as well. Cause I feel like this could be quite summery too, but it has yeah. this sort of like velvety texture on it that kind of, I feel, lends it to a wintry feeling. But I can wear this here in Australia because it's quite sheer. There's not really like a lot of weight to the fabric um, and I feel like it's still appropriate. I also do feel like there was a long sleeve feature because I feel like I don't see too many party holiday style dresses with long sleeves. So I thought that was nice, especially if you want something to keep you a little bit cozier up in the Northern Hemisphere, this could be a nice very option. True. It's actually very comfortable because it's quite a nice stretchy fabric. I got this in a size 10, but yeah, it's, it's nice and nice and stretchy, which is good because of two things. That's four, two things. Number one, you'll see this clip detail kind of going all the way down. Um, that split there is my skin. That's, oh, I just <laughs> put my finger in my belly button. That's oh, interesting. That means that it's skin all the way down. So you do need to wear a kind of neutral, pair of underwear or perhaps a slip underneath whatever makes you feel comfortable. I was kind of worried about that. I wasn't sure how that was going to work out. I thought maybe it would look really obvious, but, but because I'm wearing a pair of underwear that is basically my exact skin color, I don't think it's very obvious and I feel fine about it. It doesn't feel like it's super stretched out and exposed. And these clips are really, really beautiful quality. They're really strong. It's not like a simple hook and eye sort of clip where it could come undone if you sort of move the wrong way. Like it's secure. You so, are clipped all the way in, which I thought would be really time consuming as well, but it wasn't actually that bad. Second kind of thing is that there is this sort of aspect here. I am wearing a brassiere for the purposes of youtube.com and my buddy Susan. It actually doesn't show at the back. The back is fully covered. So there's no real worry of being able to see anything there. So if you have a bra and you use some fashion tape, you, you can actually wear a bra. This is just fabric. There's no underwire there, but there is like kind of an elastic slash 
seam. So that would give you the support if you didn't want to wear a bra, but it's really up to you and how comfortable you feel and stuff like that. All I'm saying is I think you can get away with wearing a bra with this and I don't think it ruins the look because the bow kind of detail covers anything that you can see there. I just love a white festive Christmas look. I just think it's so fun and the kind of different bits of sheer and sort of like the shine from the velour just makes this feel a little bit more special and festive and it's just it's kind of cute, it's flirty, but it's not super over the top either. So I feel like a Christmas party is sort of a fun option for that. Probably a Christmas party with friends and not family, but also like for me at least I'm kind of like with family, I'm sort of like, I don't really care. <laughs> You're my family, what are you gonna do about it? So this is the dress that I picked for Christmas day. And there is a very high probability that this is actually the dress I'm gonna wear for Christmas day because it is so comfy. This dress, has a nice amount of stretch to it and is a little bit bigger in the sizing than I think typically the dresses are with Princess Polly. Um, I got this in a size 10, which is my normal size, but I'm like, I could have actually probably gotten an eight. Like I've got quite a bit of room, but that's the trick. So now I can go to Christmas lunch with my partner's family and I can go to Christmas dinner with my own family and I will be able to consume all the cold meats, all the hot meats, <laughs> all the vegetables, all the side dishes, all the desserts in comfort and style and look kind of festive and put together but it's also not too over the top because I feel like at least Australian Christmas it's very laid back. Australia is very into tall poppy syndrome and that applies to Christmas lunch attire as well. <laughs> the length is also really nice as well. Sometimes I have some dresses that I really like and are casual and cute but they're a bit short um, and the fit and flare means that you're not sort of having to worry about pulling your dress down. I just want to be comfy on Christmas Day, but I also need to look cute. You know what I mean? You know, you kind of have to remind some of that extended family who their favorite niece is. That kind of vibe. Do you know what I mean? Like, you kind of have to do that. I feel like that's important. I feel like it's my duty at Christmas to deliver and serve vibes and looks and also bring all the dessert. Actually, I haven't figured out what I'm going to do for Christmas dessert yet. Now I'm going to go ahead and say that I didn't think that showing a bikini on camera was in my YouTube 2021 bingo, but I saw this recycled nylon bikini set with a sarong and I just thought it was really cute and technically the holiday season for me is summer and it is probably the one to two times a year that I would actually go swimming. I would not call myself a beach bunny by any means. Can you tell it's a little bit out of my comfort zone? Oh. It was hiding in this Princess Polly box the whole time and oh, oh my gosh, what? What else is in there? Oh. <gasps> it's a bucket hat. I have to be sun safe, okay? If you're gonna take me to the beach and I will be wearing a swimsuit, I need to be sun safe. Historically, I have not been well equipped for the Australian summer, but no more. I now at least have one ensemble that I believe is cute and beach appropriate. I will not I be taking off my sarong to reveal the bikini bottoms for the sake of this try and haul. In fact, I will just show you this picture of the model so you can know that that's what they look like. And I can tell you that they look similar on me. Same print as the sarong and the bikini top. So really, I believe in you. Your brains are big, <laughs> use your imagination. I got the bottoms in a size 10, the sarong in a size 10, but I got the top in a size eight because that is the band size I have on my bust. It actually has an underwire, which is so nice in a bikini. I just feel like it provides a little bit more of that sort of stability, security, comfort for me anyway, because I feel like a lot of the time those sort of triangle <laughs> bikini tops just do not do it for me and my body type personally. So I really like that this one had an underwire feature while still having the soft cup. So it's like still comfy, but also if I pop a t-shirt over this um, or a dress to go somewhere after I went to the beach or the pool, I would feel fine about that and not like I'm in danger. <laughs> but yes, this is your <laughs> limited edition bikini Lucy. Probably not something I'll be doing a lot, but I, I did just want to share this one and uh, push myself out of my comfort zone. A little bit. I just think this one's really cute. I think it's very flattering. I don't know. I don't really gravitate to swimsuits a lot. So believe you, me, when I say that I thought this was cute enough that I felt compelled to share. So that is this bikini look. Okay, tell me that you don't think that this is a cute New Year's Eve dress. I, okay, when I saw this on the website, <sighs> hmm, okay, wait, this is the Selena mini dress and this is in the blue colorway. But can I just say, how gorgeous is this material? Can you see that in the kind of like, it has this sheen to it and it's a pink iridescent sheen. So we're talking about a blue and pink iridescent pastel kind of sexy cocktail dress. Hello? Yes. And it's kind of got that 90s, 2000s sort of silhouette that's really pretty, but I just think it's really flattering because it's a fit and flare. And I'll show you the back. I'm not wearing a bra with this right now and I actually, 
don't feel that afraid <laughs> because you tighten this yourself and you tie this yourself so you can kind of tie it at the different points as tight as you want to make sure you've got the exact amount of tightness you need on this section here I feel secure like I can be boogieing and dancing and while yes there will be some movement which is fine because that is what flesh is uh, I am not afraid of a New Year's Eve reveal. <laughs> I just think this is the most adorable thing ever and just so New Year's Eve appropriate. Like it's just such a fun party dress. Ah, uh, ah, uh, 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 it's so pretty. My one issue though is that the lining of it kind of peeks out the bottom a little bit, but I'm not overly mad at that because I'm pretty sure it's because the slip underneath has a bit of stretch to it and the top layer is not really stretchy so I'm assuming it's just because the slip has stretched over my curves whereas this has just had to kind of lie on my curves meaning that the slip underneath just has a little bit more give a little bit more fabric to it do you know what I mean it's not a big drama I could literally just pin it or get it hemmed it's not really a big deal but just a heads up that there is a slip which like we, we want that <laughs> but yes this is my styling recommendation my curation pick for New Year's Eve although also the white dress would be cute if that's kind of what you're into Either or. I'm bringing you options. Okay, and here is the final piece from this video. And I know that I just did the New Year's dress, but this is the Boxing Day kind of outfit. It is this one from a Princess Polly's Earth Club range. So it's all recycled cotton, recycled materials, which is great. We love a little bit of an eco initiative. It's good to see. Um, and I have been waiting for this to come back in stock for so long because I just saw on the website, it just looks so thick and luxe and now that I'm wearing it and it's finally come back in stock and I have it on it's great it's a really thick ribbed kind of cotton I feel really cute in it I feel really confident in it I couldn't resist wearing this one out actually um, I wore it out recently I'll pop my little Instagram story in there but I just wore it with a cute pair of sneakers and a tote bag and some sunglasses and I just felt like I looked put together because we were kind of going to like a fancy chair store yeah I highly highly recommend this because I feel like I have tried to buy white t-shirt dresses from other brands before and I've just been really let down by the quality and how they look but I feel like this one is really really flattering lovely quality just oh, it's like such a luxurious thick cotton and I mean you know me you know I like a white cropped up you know I like a white t-shirt so I really really wanted to have this type of staple in my wardrobe something I've been searching for in a while and now that I have it, I am delighted and I cannot wait. <laughs> I was so scared to wear this out before I filmed this video because I was like, if I get something on it, it's going to be really hard to get out. But now that I filmed it, now that we're done, you've seen it, you like it, I love it, I can start wearing it. And, uh, and with that, that is everything in this Princess Polly haul slash holiday festive outfit idea. Hopefully you kind of liked this setup. I just wanted to put a little more of a theme and a twist on it because yeah. I was just shopping for more holiday sort of festive items. And I feel like I can talk you through a little bit more of the process of why I'm picking things kind of in the lens of that. So let me know what you think down in the comments below and let me know which outfit slash piece was your favorite, which did you think was the cutest the most festive vibes let me know and of course thank you again to princess polly for working with me on this video and you can use the code lucy Levin for 20 percent off your purchase on the princess polly website yeah 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 as always thank you so so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye